Hello students and welcome to today's lesson. We are going to look at nonverbal cues in communication. But before we look at nonverbal cues in communication, we need to establish the meaning of communication. Now, communication refers to the act of conveying intended meanings from one person or a group of people to another. Its main purpose is to relay a message. However, it does not depend on one's alone. Communication can be verbal, which means it uses speech or the spoken word to share information. It can also be written, meaning it uses the written word, like the words we find in books, letters, journals, and other texts. Communication can also be nonverbal, and that is what forms our lesson today. What is nonverbal communication? It is that type of communication that is done by sending or receiving wordless cues. Now, it is prudent to remember that cues mean different things to different people in different contexts. For example, this sign there can mean many things. In India or America, it means fantastic or okay. But if you go to Tunisia, the same sign means I will kill you. In Japan, it means money. What is the importance of nonverbal communication? It sets the tone of communication. It helps us to tell the mood and interpret emotions. It reinforces what is being said and complements speech. It is therefore important that we understand these nonverbal cues because a lot of what we say is not verbal. We could be saying one thing, but our body language is telling the people something else. We have several types of nonverbal cues. The major ones include gestures, facial expressions, body posture, and eye contact. However, there are many others. Why do we learn these nonverbal cues? They help us to understand people better. They help us to avoid being misunderstood by other people. And they also enhance our communication so that we are able to do it effectively. Let us begin with gestures, which are the movement of parts of the body, especially the hands, to convey and pass ideas or meanings. For example, we have these gestures here. What do they mean? To some people, they may mean okay, they may mean it's fine, or it's cool. This gesture here means the person wants people to maintain silence. In this picture, this lady could mean stop, no, or enough. Facial expressions. These are the resulting changes in the facial appearance due to one or more facial movement. They are used to convey emo emotional states of individuals to observers. These emotions could be happiness, excitement, sadness, hate, love, or a myriad of many others. In this picture, the face clearly shows that the lady there is either in pain or she is sad. In this picture, this girl is obviously very happy. In this picture here, the gentleman looks surprised or shocked. Body posture. 
It is a term used to describe a position of the body or the arrangement of body parts in relation to one another. For example, in this picture, the lady has her arms akimbo, which could show that she is angry. In this picture, the lady there is worried. And in this other one, the man is showing signs of anticipation. We move on to eye movement or eye contact. The direction of one's eyes can give an indication of their intentions, thoughts, or feelings. Eyes can convey meaningful and important signs of confidence or respect between people. The most famous IQ is the wink, which shows that someone is passing a confidential information. We can also have our eyes showing worry or fear and many other feelings. There are other nonverbal cues which may include the pitch, the speed, the tone, and the volume of voice. Our dress and our appearance can also tell many things to many people. Now students, for today, this is all we got. Until next time, have a good day. Thank you.